Hey guys, today we're going to look at arithmetic versus geometric sequences. We're going to answer what are the main differences between arithmetic and geometric sequences. So arithmetic, I want you to write the word additive. And maybe a plus sign. And then geometric sequence, I want you to write the word multiplicative. and then maybe put the multiplication sign. So that's the main difference between them. They're both just a series or sequence of numbers. Arithmetic is gonna have that additive pattern and then geometric is gonna have that multiplicative pattern. So arithmetic sequence is a sequence of numbers in which there is a common difference, D between any two numbers that is constant. And to get the next term in an arithmetic sequence, you will add by that common difference. So in our recursive formulas, the first term will be defined for you. And the common difference will be shown in that recursive sequence with a plus sign or a minus sign if it's subtraction. And then explicit, we're going to have this formula, an equals a1 plus n minus 1 times d, and you'll distribute that d to simplify the formula. So that is arithmetic. Let's look at geometric. A geometric sequence is a sequence of numbers in which the common ratio r between any two terms is constant. To get the next consecutive term in a geometric sequence, you multiply by that common ratio. So you will see that in your recursive formulas, you will be multiplying by that common ratio. And then in the explicit formula, we will find the next term by doing the first term times the common ratio raised to the n minus 1. So let's look at this first one. If it's arithmetic, geometric, or neither, that's what we need to determine with this first sequence and how do we know. So if it's arithmetic, we're gonna have the additive pattern. If it's geometric, we will have that multiplication pattern. It does not look like I'm adding by something constant, but I might be multiplying here. Let's see. So two times two is four, four times two is eight, and eight times two is 16. So in those four numbers, I have that common ratio. So this is a geometric sequence because there is a common ratio of two. All right, let's look at the next one. So it looks like I am increasing. Um, I, it's a little bit difficult for me to figure out what I would be increasing by. Um, so I'm going to work backwards and I'm going to subtract. I know that this is not going to be geometric because multiplication wouldn't be consistent here because it's not oscillating, but I do go from a negative to a positive. So if there is a pattern, we're going to be adding something. So let's do negative 49 minus negative 74 and we get 25. So let's see if this plus 25 is going to work. So then negative 49 should be negative 49 plus 25 should be negative 24, which it is. And then negative 24 plus 25 is one. So this is an arithmetic sequence. And we know that because there is a common difference of 25. All right, and the next one, is this arithmetic, geometric, or neither? How do you know? Well, it's not going to be a geometric because I go from negative to positive, but then I don't go back, so I'm not oscillating or staying consistent with the signs. So not geometric. Let's see if it's arithmetic. So if it was arithmetic, I would add 4 and get 2, and then I would add 4, and that does not work. So this is neither because there is no common ratio or difference.
All right, let's look at number four. It says find the first three terms of the sequence. So they gave us the first term, it is 18. So I can go ahead and write that down. And then let's figure out if this is an arithmetic or geometric. We're subtracting nine every time, so that's gonna be arithmetic. So to find the next term, I'll just subtract nine. Find the next term, you take the previous term and subtract nine. That's what that formula is saying. So 18 minus nine is nine, nine minus nine is zero, and zero minus nine is negative four. Oh, I only needed to find the first three terms. There you go. Okay, find the first three terms of this sequence. So this is an explicit sequence right here where I'm just going to input one, two, and three for n to find the first three terms. So to find a one, I will do negative five times two to the one minus one, which would be negative five to the two times two to the zero. So negative five times two to the zero is negative five. And then to find the second term, negative five times two to the two minus one would be negative five times two to the first, and we get negative 10. And then a to the third will be negative five times two to the three minus one. So negative five times two to the two is negative 20. So the first three terms of the sequence are negative five, negative 10, and negative 20. Okay, number six says find the first three terms of the sequence. So they gave us the first term, it's 320. And then this one, it's telling me to find the next term. I'm gonna take the previous term and multiply by 1 fourth. So I'll just do 320 times 1 fourth to find the next term. And I get 80. And then 80 times 1 fourth is 20. Okay, let's look at number seven. It says write an explicit formula for the sequence below. So I need to decide if this is arithmetic or geometric first. Um, I am gonna define the first term because I need that whether or not it's arithmetic or geometric. So the first term is 17. Okay, now let's look at what's happening here. To get from negative 17 to negative 27, I can't think of something I would multiply by, but I know I could subtract 10. And then negative 27 minus 10 would give us negative 37. And then negative 37 minus 10 would give us negative 47. So this one looks like it is arithmetic. So I'm going to have a common difference of negative 10. So the formula, explicit formula for an arithmetic sequence is a n equals a 1 plus n minus 1 times the common difference. So the first term is 17. The common difference is negative 10, so now I can substitute in and simplify. So a n equals 17 plus n minus 1 times the common difference of negative 10. And now I'm going to distribute, and I get a n equals 17 plus negative 10 n. Negative 10 times negative 1 is positive 10. And now I'm going to combine like terms, and I get a n equals negative 10 n plus 27 for the explicit formula for this sequence. Okay, let's look at this next one. So I am oscillating. I go from positive to negative to positive to negative. And the only way I can do that is by multiplying by a negative number. So I can tell this is gonna be a geometric sequence. For a geometric sequence, I'll need the first term. So let's define that. It is 12. And then I will need the common ratio. So let's figure out what we are multiplying here multiplying by here. So to get from 12 to negative 72, I believe I would multiply by negative six. Let's see if that works for the next set of terms. Negative 72 times negative six should give us 432, which it does. 
And then 432 times negative 6 gives us negative 2,529. So our common ratio is negative 6. So now I can plug into our formula. It's a n equals a 1 times the common ratio raised to the n minus 1. So it'll be a n equals our first term was 12 times our common ratio was negative 6 to the n minus 1. And there is the explicit formula for that geometric sequence. Last one, they have given us three terms. And they want us to write an explicit formula for the sequence. So I will need the first term. They did not give that to me. So I'm going to have to work with what I have here. Let's first see if we can determine a pattern here. So to go from 45 to 60, I can't think of what I would multiply by, but I know I would add 15. And then to go from 60 to 75, I would add 15. So it looks like we have a common difference of 15 here. So let's see if we can work backwards to find the second term and then find the first term that's needed for the formula. So to go backwards, I would subtract 15 instead of adding 15 and 45 minus 15 is 30 and then 30 minus 15 is 15. So now I have the first term and the common difference, so I can write my explicit formula. It's a n equals the first term plus n minus 1 times the common difference. So the first term is 15, and then the common difference is also 15. So I'm going to plug in 15 for both of those things. So I get a n equals first term was 15 plus n minus 1 times the common difference was 15. And now I'm going to distribute and I get a n equals 15 plus 15 n minus 15. And then I'm going to combine like terms and I get a n equals 15 n since 15 minus 15 is 0.